morning. This is Miss Lally, and today is Tuesday, October 30th. And I'm out here looking over my tomato plants and assessing this garden drama I have going on. I don't know what this I is this I don't know, is this some type of fungus or just the leaves reacting to the cold? I don't know. And then on top of that, let's see if I can find a good shot. I have aphids that have taken up residence on my tomato plants and the tomatoes. I have a few tomatoes out here, like these right here, and have these right here. You can see those. And there's some other smaller ones out here that I wanted to leave these plants up and let them get a little bigger. Like here's a cluster. Mm. Here's a cluster. Where is it at? Right there. So this is what my tomato plants are looking like. They they have a very nice lush green look, but they are dealing with an infestation of aphids and those and that brown browning of the leaves the spots on it which i really don't know what that is is if it's a fungus or something like that so if anybody knows please let me know i wanted to let them stay up um and let the rest of those tomatoes get kind of big but i don't know i got homework to do another problem i'm having is from the squirrels so the squirrels i can't see in my phone so I'm going to try to point this out. I have bird netting down here because the squirrels have come through. And I mean, they dug holes here, here, over there. They dug holes all up in there. Some holes over there. Fortunately, they didn't dig up any of, of my plants. So I put bird netting down with the hopes that if they do come over here, they'll get tangled up in the bird netting and then they'll learn to stay away from this area so that's the garden drama the squirrels also jumped up on this table and started to dig into my salad bar so they kind of messed up what I had going on in here so I had put some tat soy in here tat soy over there they dug up the tat soy that was over there so I tried to replant it I don't know if it's going to take. They dug in over on this side too. And also, a few days ago, we had a storm come through. Well, it wasn't a storm. It was like just a rainstorm. And But in the middle of the night, it got really windy and broke off this healthy, good branch of my pepper plant and this particular branch had so many little baby peppers on it I don't know if you can see that it had a bunch of little baby peppers on it so I put it in here with hopes that maybe something will happen of course nothing's gonna happen so I just can't bring myself to throw it away just yet so far the broccoli that I planted over here. There's seven of them, and they are still here. Now this one right here got bent over and is actually broke, but hopefully they'll make it. But they're looking good so far. My bean plant seems to be still trying to put out some beans. I don't know how well it's going to do as the temperatures keep getting colder at night, but we'll see. Coming over here to check out the cabbage. And I've been plucking a couple of worms off, well, caterpillar, green caterpillars off. But they seem to be trying to do their thing. So they're, they're hanging in there. I actually have six cabbage plants. Four over here and four, I mean, two in the other garden. 
and these sweet potato leaves or sweet potato vines they won't quit it's been cold at night and they've been affected check out the leaves but they are determined to keep growing until I guess that great killing frost comes my rhubarb that I planted earlier this year grew did its thing I never plucked um, any stems off of it it did get attacked by a wet bug I have no idea and just recently it started sending up some new leaves I don't know if this rhubarb could handle our our summer heat or what but hopefully it'll come back next year we'll see but I just let it um, hopefully you know the roots get established let the roots get established this year I didn't I didn't pluck off of it I didn't do anything so we'll see when next spring holds and this rosemary bush is doing really well I think I'm gonna cut some of this off and figure out how to do like a potpourri smell for Christmas but it is really really doing well this is probably year two yes this is year two that has been in my yard I got it on clearance at Lowe's and it is doing really well this right here is my Jersey blueberry and it's been in the ground for three years I feel like it's been three years and it is really turning a very beautiful reddish mm, yeah reddish color very beautiful let's see if you can see that really good and this is my strawberry patch that I have covered up for the fall and winter see you next spring so this is just a quick little update of what's going on in my garden in the month of October as we're heading into November thanks for watching all right this is for real my last clip but just wanted to share with you big Bertha that I got from Walmart she did bounce back she has um, some little babies on her that are trying to make it. Let's see. So she she sprouted leaves. Um, it was just this tweet, this stalk right here that I got from Walmart, and since then has sprouted this and this right here with little babies on it. So I'm hoping that. I will be able to at least get one pepper from her. At least one pepper, maybe. Have a great day.